Hey guys, didn't see you there. Akash here. Today I'm going to show you how you can get into web development and why you should get into web development if you're interested in technology. Me, myself, I'm a React expert and have been working in React over the past three years. But one thing that you might not know about me is that I actually didn't get my first job through college placements, but just through my skills. I also know other people in fields like marketing and other fields like biotech who have got into web development just by their pure skills and then grown in the ranks of their company over five or so years. So firstly, let's answer the question of why you should get into web development. Well, the most obvious answer is that it requires no degree and it doesn't require prior experience. It only requires your peer skill. So firstly, web development actually has a very low barrier to entry if you have the right skills. And by having the right skills, you can get into web development regardless of your prior experience or whether or not you hold any degree. You can find stories of such people online and I'll link to some of them in the description below. And now, why should you learn a particular framework in web development? In my case, I learned React because I liked it a lot and because I was already skilled in it through open source projects. Your reason might be something different, but generally it falls down into two categories. One is that you're already skilled in the framework, like I was in React, or the second is that you have a dream company that you really want to work for. In the second case, you might want to learn a framework to get into that company, but that's up to you. You can also get into a different company via web development and then learn that framework on the job. So these are the two reasons. And now, how do you get into web development? Now, there are three ways how you can do that. The first is to practice web development. The second is to stand out from the crowd. And the third is to have the right skills. Now, all of these are interlinked because you can only stand out from the crowd if you have better skills than them or you have something which makes you stand out from them. And the only way to have the right skills is to practice hard. Now, the way I recommend this for extreme beginners is to just start with HTML and CSS. That is learn how to structure a page with HTML and learn how to place elements on that page with CSS. Now, after you are familiar with how to structure and style a page, you can get started by adding interactivity to the page via JavaScript. You can have forms which you can submit to take you to other parts of the page or have buttons which do something different like add a few transitions in the page. After you are done with all these things like HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can start learning a framework to get over the limitations of JavaScript. Now JavaScript doesn't really have any limitations but you will start feeling it's difficult to do a few things like have dynamic interactable elements inside your page or having the same piece of code repeated over parts of your page. Now in that case, a framework like React or Vue.js may come handy. And how do you stand out from the crowd by having these skills? Well, there are two things that you need to do. One is to post on LinkedIn and Twitter and the second is to have your own blog. What these ensure is that recruiters and other people who are looking at your profile will know what kind of skills and how far along you are in your journey. The way to do that is generally to have one post every weekend for three months. This post can be about anything related to web development or a project that you're building. Now, why one post every weekend over three months? This is because it gives you four into three, that is 12 posts at the end of these three months which will pretty well define your journey over the past three months. Now you can also speed up the process by actually doing two posts over every weekend. So this lands you with 24 posts at the end of three months. So you have even more projects that you can show to potential recruiters. Now, if you want project ideas, I actually have a list of 15 plus projects in the description that you can check out if you want to learn more about how you can start your journey. I'm also going to be creating content around HTML and CSS, so stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to create a few tutorials around how you can style your React app and the various ways of styling a React app. So if you want, you can follow me on Twitter at the writing dev or stay subscribed to this channel so that you get a notification whenever that happens. So thank you guys and see you next time.